Greetings YouTubers. A very, very good afternoon to you. It's the big fella, Big Jim, on a Thursday afternoon in uh, the beginning of October or ish. It's 10 to 1 in the afternoon. The sun is shining. The sun has got his hat on. Very good afternoon to you, Big Jim. London Taxi International 2003 with 286,000 miles and counting on the clock in his London Taxi International and on my way home from work I haven't done uh, one of these for a very short period of time and I thought it's about time I got up here and had a little chat with you as you can see just leave work tyres on uh, how is everyone? How are your cabs? Please leave comments down below, all the subscribers, and we're getting more and more and more each day. A lot of you do own these cabs, a lot of you are talking about owning these cabs. I had a, uh, a message come through from someone who was talking the other day who's just picked up one of these. And now has got the dreaded insurance woes that we've all talked about on a previous vlog about the difficulties of getting yourself one of these and finding a company that will insure you at a price that you want to pay. That doesn't always happen and never does. So uh, look back over my previous vlogs and you will uh, look on the listings and it says about insurance woes. The insurance woes of getting one of these. But uh, once you do get one, get one insured, don't expect it to be that cheap. To get them insured but I'm not going to go back over that because that's in the previous vlog what am I going to talk about today ah uh, you remember in my last vlog everyone when we talked about the person that got a little bit too close in the red car and now I got the ump over it well not the ump I was quite controlled the red car scrape has been tea cutted up um, and I've touched it up with uh, some black paint that was supplied to me for when I had the wings and uh, bits of the bodywork painted in um, and I just he gave me a little very small little bottle and it had a little brush on it and I just touched it over and it's just morphed in quite well it looks it looks good it saved me having to spray the old the complete wing so I'm well happy with that really well happy with that um, phones are ringing as always now that person can wait that's a work phone this is a U phone do you know what I'm like a bloody drug dealer I've got phones everywhere if they're not on one side they're on another side um, I'm just a load of phones loads of people flipping work no, it never stops anyway let's go back onto the subject yeah so I managed to cut the wing back on that everyone she looks absolutely fine I'm happy with it I wouldn't say it was 100% but probably about 90% uh, I will watch it lucky enough where they took the paint off it didn't go down it left the primer on the underneath so I've managed to retouch that over so that's a positive I'm happy on that um, Apart from that, the old scratch of paintwork there, she's going really well. She's going really, really well. She's just, she's just lovely. And as I've said in a previous vlog, she makes me smile every day driving her. I, in fact, I can't see myself without me sitting in this little cab now. Uh, I'm iconic, gang, I'm iconic. Wherever I am, people tooting out to me, and it happens so often now. I'm driving round town, and I'll get did 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 did, and I'll, by the time I look, it's gone. And then I'll get a message: "What's the matter with you? Didn't you see me?" It's because everyone spots this cab before they see the big guy driving behind it. So, and there's another work one going there. Look, they can wait. You're more important. You are more important, believe me. And so they, um, you know, you get spotted. So if you're going to get one of these, especially if you're in an area 
where there aren't no old London cabs around. I mean, you could you could sort of you could sort of disappear into the background in London, but not so much on the outskirts and where there aren't so many of these babies around. Uh, I'm right down in Worthing in West Sussex and these don't exist so wherever I'm traveling you will uh, you will be spotted so if you don't want yourself to be spotted don't drive one of these because you you will be spotted but apart from that they're a joy as we've said uh, an absolute joy to ride she's running absolutely fine now um, all those little teething problems that we had in the early vlogs have all sorted themselves out now the doors have all been sorted out now with greasing and new actuator on the near side uh, engine wise now she's running lovely temperature wise now she's running absolutely fine she's running as good as you could expect an old 2003 car and let's face it the MOT that this went went for, I didn't want no favours. I wanted the guy to pull pull it to pieces, and that that was on the understanding as well. I said, I want this to know it's perfect, and we done all our own work and all our checking over. And with the service, she went straight through an MOT, a hard MOT as well, no favours, with no advisories. So for an old Doris. Oh, well, she's not Doris, actually. I can't call her Doris. As an old poppy, she's done really well. And she's running very, very well at the moment. Still using her as my daily commute. Um, still haven't sort of picked up another motor at the moment. Still getting 34 miles to the gallon in her. So, not the best of mileage. But, hey, who cares? I just, uh, I just carry on driving her. So really, cab-wise, there's not really a lot to sort of report out other than she's quite happy. I can't ever imagine myself not having her. I really can't, I just... As I've said in previous vlogs, if you're thinking about getting one, get yourself one, get yourself a good one, don't buy yourself a bummer. Um, a little bit of money spent on these from the start, you've got to be very careful. Again, in another vlog I've said about how much you're looking at paying for one of these from the cheapest up to the most expensive. It is horses for courses. Depends how much money you've got in your pocket. How much you're prepared or knowledge you have to work on one of these will obviously then save you more and more money but uh, it's all about money you will pay and that comes in with your road tax as well apart from a heavy insurance your road tax is going to be quite expensive as well 300 for this TX4 the newer version of this, 600 quid, as I was put right by one of our, our subscribers there. So that's a lot of money. When you think there are some newer cars out here at the moment on a zero emissions or zero rated car tax, road tax, paying next to nothing. You don't buy one of these if you haven't got a penny, believe me, to spend in your back pocket you've got to have a little bit of back money if you want something that's very economical to be running around on the streets that's going to cost you absolutely nothing or almost nothing to run don't look at one of these guys because these will always need something doing to them and then when they do you've got to pay out because they're a commercial vehicle you know just make no bones about it they're a ton and a half of heavy metal um, not the most room in the back or in the, sorry in the front of where I am now very very tight and squeezed for room but they are fun to drive 
they ain't fast. Oh no, they're not fast. I mean, I'm doing 50 mile an hour now, and it feels like I'm doing 120. But it's what they are. It is what they are. When you take them for an MOT every year, if you're not aware, the main failures on these babies is the corrosion. They do like to rot out if allowed. Hence, this has all been Z-Bar under sealed now. It had been done previously a few years ago, but I've now reinstated the Z-Bar in under seal because I live right on top of the coast. Salt, corrosion, sea air. So I've carried on with the Z-Bar in. Um, I've had the respray done, as I said to you over her, not right the way over because she didn't need it, but in the places around the wheel arches that do, and there's probably, that's gonna come back, not with venom, but you'll probably see that may pop back in a two or three years time, and then I'll, uh, I'll obviously look at it then about redoing it and re, you know, re, re-spraying her over those bits. It's an ongoing thing. A smaller version of the fifth road suspension bridge, this, never stops. By the time you get to the front, work your way around the back and start again at the front. So that's what you got. Look, all you people that are looking now that aren't subscribers, please subscribe down. There's no adverts you've got to watch out before you watch me. It comes straight into it. What I would ask you to do, please, please, subscribe, comment. I'll get back to you straight away. If you've got any questions, anything, any quips, any questions, anything that you're not so sure of about these vehicles, come back to me and what I will do, I promise I'll come straight back to you, well, as soon as I can and I'll talk and if I don't know, there'll be someone here, believe me, on part of our little crowd up here that does understand. All right, gang? Right, I'm going to let you go on this one now because... I'm just rabbiting on about nothing. The big guy's back to work. Eyes are not fully functioning at the moment, and I'll, I'll say that and bore you for another vlog. Until next time, everyone, it's the big guy and his TX2. Do you know what? I forgot it myself. TX2, London Taxi International, on a 2003 plate with 286,000 miles on the clock, saying a very, very good afternoon to you. Wherever you may be, please keep safe. And remember, please keep careful. And I'll join you again very, very soon. Okay, everyone. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you joining in. Subscribe, comment below, please. Love to hear from you. Ciao. Bye.